Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Zane Town Afterbirth plus Eaten runs. Last run we breakfasted ourselves because I am a moron who has no self control. This run, ooh, it's the halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. And uh, headless baby and teleport with great speed, great rate of fire. I don't use the G word loosely. It was genuinely very, very good. Damage is only decent. But as a result of the fact that everything else is great, um, the, the damage is better, thusly. So, and it, I mean, considering our HP is in a great spot as well, we're in a, a very, very strong position to begin this run. And we don't have the D-Infinity. So I have nothing to accidentally fuck myself over with, unless we got the D-Infinity right there. I think it... We got both of them. I knew that that existed in mods, but I didn't actually know that you could get a, um... You could get a doubled item room where you could grab both of the items in Afterbirth Plus? At least if it happens, it must happen rarely. I've seen it happen a lot in mods. Um... Emperor card is great, but we don't need to use it right away. It could be a teleport that allows us access to the, uh, deal with the devil, I suppose. Or, sorry, uh, to the boss rush, I suppose. For now, really, like, I, I feel bad, but the run is just very good like there's no there's no reason for us to really complain about anything there's not much drama to set up the only drama is what the fuck am I gonna do with the teleporter like it's it's just not a great item but it does allow us to you know preserve a little bit of extra HP in some unique situations okay that's nothing for us all right let's see who we got here it's the widow who's a widow widow who's a widow okay that's gonna be annoying well, I was gonna say pretty quickly, but the answer is, like, it's annoying already. I just wanna, like, the spiders are not that big of a deal, but they compromise the dodging, like, just enough to be annoying. HP or DPS? DPS, and a little HP on the side, don't mind if I do. We're at, like, probably the tier cap. So, really, we want damage from this point onwards, but... Like, I'm very, very pleased with the strength of this run to begin with. Okay, here's where Telepills, which is actually the teleporter, starts to get extremely high value. Come in here, crack that open. Oh, two spirit hearts and a bomb. And what do we have to do? Absolutely nothing. We can use... If you want to... You know, a little bit of a history lesson on how far Isaac has come in terms of its zaniness. You know, I used to do uh, with... Obsessed Fan is like, you know, Beelzebub Shade. Um... It's, it's okay, I suppose. I used to do uh, challenge runs using the cheat engine in the vanilla Binding of Isaac, so, you know, way back in, in Flash territory. One of the challenges was, okay, you get the teleporter, and then every time the teleporter gets a charge, you have to use it. it the absolute madman, he's actually done it. You know, it, that's, that's what a zany run used to look like in the Flash version of this game. So, as much as I'm not necessarily thrilled with the nerf to Crooked Penny and, you know, losing the ability to use Undefined to get to, like, many, many uh, loops throughout the game, I think you still gotta respect that zaniness... Let's keep Teleporter. Zaniness has come a long way in Isaac, without a doubt, so I respect that. Certainly, I would have creamed my jeans if I knew the sort of stuff that was coming up in Isaac. You tell me there's an item that re-rolls your entire run? There's two items that re-roll your entire run? There's an item that gives you one of the two items that could re-roll your entire run once every two rooms? It's glorious. Didn't mean to do that, actually. That second one, at least. Um, we're just gonna... Honestly, I'm, I'm not killing time. Well, that, actually, no, I'm exactly killing time. I'm self-conscious about how fast we made it through this floor, and as a result, I want to spend a little bit more time here to see if there's other advantages we could pull, but, uh... Let's see what we get. Eh, I don't really think it's worth... going to the, uh, shop right now. The only way I would consider it worth it is if we got a, um... We got a bomb, used that bomb to get to the secret room, and then got enough money in the secret room to buy an item from the shop. So, it's actually not implausible, but it's it's not too freaking likely. This honestly has my vote for maybe being like the worst room in Isaac. 
We're fairly lucky in that our, our damage is high enough that this actually isn't that bad for us, but if you've got shit damage, you're just toast on this room. You're gonna get hit. It's just a... It's not even a matter of time. It's just a matter of how many times. I thought maybe we can get the full charge for that as well. Um, teleport... I really want to call it telepills, but... Teleport, to the best of my knowledge, cannot take you to the error room. I may be mistaken there, but I, I don't believe that that's the case. So, I don't think there's too much incentive to use it uh, that frequently. I think you really just want to use it when it's prudent to get yourself out of a room that you would like would otherwise take damage on. In the end, this ended up basically being worth it. Um, with 12 cents and 5 bombs, sorry, 12 cents and 1 bomb, I don't think it's worth using our last bomb to get another 5 cents. That could change, though. Honestly, you know, Headless Baby is not what I think of when I think of the best uh, familiars in the game. But it does do a pretty good job, uh, at least up to a certain point in a run. Like, for us right now... Do we know that pill, by the way? For us right now, it's doing a, a pretty good job of keeping, like, enemies that rush us down at bay. And I appreciate that. Explosive diarrhea! Did we get the... No, we still didn't get the nickel out of it. Um, and we gotta keep this Emperor card. The Emperor card is worth way more than a single penny, so it's it's super not worth converting with Ace of Diamonds, an item that I still think Ace of Diamonds is just bad. <laughs> I don't, oh my god, this damage. I don't mean to be rude, but I like the Ace of Blank items, I'm like, scrap them. Don't, don't scrap them, but like, I think they're actually like potentially very bad because of the effects that they have on the playing card economy where normally you'd go into a shop and be like, yo, if there's a playing card, there's a pretty good chance it's a joker or a two of something. Worst case scenario was like two of hearts. Yeah, we'll take sack dagger. Little, little risky, but not too bad. Um, now it's like, it could be, uh... An ace of. It still could be um, a rules card. It could be card against humanity, which could be great or terrible, depending on your perspective. Um, I do want to use the stars card, believe it or not. So I, I, I don't actually want to keep Satanic Bible, even though it's the right choice without any doubt in my mind. Oh, dude, this is good. Um, I want to I want to try to make teleport work because honestly, like we've been playing. Pretty well, especially on dailies lately, we've been playing pretty well. Um, I don't think there's any question that, you know, when we see Satanic Bible show up on a run like this, we could win pretty easily. And if, you know, if we're at 25 wins, I'm taking Satanic Bible. But we're not at 25 wins. We're at, like, three wins. So I am going to um, make a little bit of a, a turn. That's fine. A little bit of a turn towards... Um, Variety, not even zaniness, which I think at this point is in danger of becoming a little bit overused as a word for me, but um, just to turn towards variety. We don't necessarily need to. Uh, it's an ace of spades. We don't necessarily need to take Satanic Bible, especially with the miter. So let's not take Satanic Bible. Instead, we'll just move along here and. We did get a deal with the devil. So we can use our uh, Emperor card, but it's probably not the right time. Now, one bomb for five cents, bad trade. One bomb for eight cents, genius trade. I got nothing to worry about there. I was being a little facetious. But probably, I mean, we have more bombs now is the other thing. Okay, well. Um... Miter? No miter. I think you take a Thame, and the idea with taking a Thame is that it probably... Oh, you shouldn't have left there. That was very silly. Um, the idea with taking a Thame is that it will probably lead to us getting more hearts than it costs to pick up. But we are a little bit on the scared side. If we get a deal with the devil on this floor, or we get a joker card, I would love to take um, Lord of the Pit. But we do have to... Oh, that's so good. We do have to um, 
you know, create the circumstances in which that condition can exist, i.e., I mean, right now we could take it, but we'd be very scared about our HP. Basically, I just like to pick up a little bit more HP. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. We do have the miter. Bomb be nice. Uh, flying would be nice. We could have done that in the opposite order. I mean, we, we might not get to do it in, the, in any order, depending on whether or not we get access to that deal with the devil again. But um, maybe it was better to take flying first, because flying is a little bit more of a core item. But I like having another way to regenerate spirit hearts, honestly. Is, is a Thame better than the ability to fly? N most of the time it's probably worse, but... I think it's not a terrible choice for us right now. I know it's not a terrible choice for us right now. So we, we can't make this run that much harder on ourselves. Like, honestly, the game will not allow it, apparently. Because we just got Sack Head, which is great. And then, you know, a Spirit Heart to purchase. Chariot card I don't really care about. We don't need more money. Still got Emperor card here. Um, yeah, so thanks to Sack Boy. Ooh, you, you, can, you can do it, you can do it. Nothing out of that, damn it. It's a, a rare damn moon card. Emperor, I'd still say, is better for now. Just, I mean, this run really has no reason not to take a uh, deal with the devil. And by, I don't know why I keep saying deal with the devil instead of boss rush, but uh, there's really no reason not to take boss rush. We're way ahead of schedule, and we've got good ability to um, make our dreams come true. So I think, first off, I know that this is doing this in, like, backwards order now, but take the moon. The moon has given us a sack. The sack has given us... Two keys and a bomb. Only decent, but that's fine. I uh, will continue to move onwards here. We're looking for luck upgrades that may or may not make a Thame better. High Priestess. I, I'm taking just to use, like, immediately. I also... I, dude, give me Contagion. Every time. I want cont Contagion and Euthanasia combination. There's an accidental, like, Good Charlotte lyric in there or something. But, um, you know, the Contagion Euthanasia proclamation. Back from 2002. Bomb for a key is a bad trade. High Priestess Ra Mega. He's dead. Take the pacifier. As of right now, no me. We are at the tier cap, by the way. That that proves it right there. No means with which to uh, get back to that deal with the devil, unfortunately. One day, though. One day. Not today. Unless this happens to be a devil pill, which does not exist. All right. I don't know. I'm feeling a little wonky about this floor. I'm, I'm feeling like we might have been better off taking the ability to fly, but a Thame could have done that. Could have done a good thing for us. Oh, well. I'm hoping, actually, weirdly enough, that we get, like, uh, Mom's Perfume. Mom's Perfume is the one that lowers our tier cap, right? I don't necessarily care at all about the, uh, about the fear effect. But I would like to lower our tier cap and get something good going on there. I'd also, like, I, I'm not complaining. Don't get me twisted here, okay? But our damage could be better. Our, uh, rate of fire means that our relatively modest, not meager, but modest damage, um, is not bad. However... 4.89 damage is not where we'd be like, oh yeah, I'm ready. Maybe if we had soy milk, but we're shooting five times slower than we, we do with soy milk, so. At least by default. Able is, you know, maybe my vote for least useful item in the game. It's not bad, necessarily. It exists. It does shoot things. But, I mean, if you're asking what's worth more, Able or a key, I think... With most items, you'd be like, the item. With Abel, you'd be like, well, how many keys have you got? We're gonna keep moving along here. I mean, it's a floor on which I normally would be uh, enjoying the opportunity to use this Emperor card. But I think... That was also very bad. I think in our present situation, that was pretty good. Um, we 
don't really want to do that yet because it is still our get out of jail free card from boss rush and we should have no problems exploring the whole floor before we get to boss rush anyway so um unfortunately the run has hit a bit of a stall here in terms of its like overall quality explosive diarrhea doesn't help out that much kind of i mean this is you're gonna say duh but it would have been nice for us to actually not have a whole bunch of hubris and then instead um you know stick with satanic bible when it showed up but I think we're still, like, beyond fine on this run. What we would like to do, though, is uh, stack up a little bit more HP. And, you know, preferably without the use of our, uh, our dagger here as much as possible. Although I'm still going to use it as much as possible because our damage just isn't that good right now. Alright, so Brownie showed up. This might be a play. You saw it. I saw it. I thought that that might be a play. That last damage was just tough to dodge. Let's get our deal, if possible. We got the HP to support it. No deal? It's all right. Pretty Fly is good. Moon card and Emperor card. So we're going to head down. We went to our item room. Did we go to the... I think we went to the shop and I just didn't like it. I would reroll our run if we have to. Curse of the Blind really fucks up uh, Boss Rush. But we can still get a free item. It's just now a little bit more of a crapshoot about whether or not it's any good. Little baggy. Oh, okay. So that's the Emperor card dead. Unfortunately. But we do have Teleport. Why was I... Okay, this is how you know your brain's in a weird spot. I was out of focus on this run. Why am I so worried about the Emperor card as a get, a get out of jail free when I have the Teleporter? Even if we had to fight, like, a, a wave to get it. It's still sort of nonsensical. Oh, Holy Mantle into the Seraphim transformation. So, actually, we're just going to win this run, like, probably pretty easily. The Bible, not really my item of choice right now, but... Sure, that's okay. Wooden Nickel. Two out of three ain't bad. Um... I would like some mapping, because I feel like I want to go to this boss fight right away, but I can't necessarily guarantee that uh, we're not missing, like, a... Well, I've already been to a boss trap room, right? Yeah, so all we could be missing is a curse room, and we've got very meager guppy chance anyway. Honestly, with Holy Mantle and Sack Dagger, that by itself usually gives you a good chance at, uh, you know, redemption here. And by redemption, I mean you just beating the Christ out of the rest of the game. So this is actually the straightforward run that I've been asking for, for like, the last four runs. It's finally shown up, I appreciate it. I didn't even realize that we've stacked up so much HP recently that we can take whatever we want from a deal with the devil without having to worry about it too much. I guess the miter is finally, uh, kicked into gear. Not that I'm blaming the miter, you know, for the idiotic damage that I took many, many times here. I think we should play this guy. We got the spirit arts necessary to support this. We don't care at all about uh, Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker, you're not the best of me. But you just keep on showing up ambiguously. Okay, I mean, we do probably want to use that as well. There are red hearts in the world today. Demon baby. Is it worth it? No, not really. Uh, we're absolutely going the wrong way, by the way. I refuse to believe that we are not. That doesn't really help. Yeah, because we started next to that boss trap room. But you know what? I think we should do these rooms and then try to teleport back. Speed up. Well worth it. There we go. We've teleported back. Yeah, we were one room away. Um, second secret room. Bomb. Bomb. Spirit Heart, Spirit Heart, Speed Upgrades, getting a little silly. The blue pill is um, the one that Cypher wishes he took in the Matrix, but also Balls of Steel. So we should keep an eye on that. Explosive Diarrhea, Telepills, I guess it's the best we, we're doing here. Um, because of my idiocy, well actually no, we get Telepills. I was going to say though, 
We're not quite going to have one full teleporter charge. Which I really... There were like myriad batteries in there that I should have just picked up. Okay, so we're not getting permanent Polaroid invincibility. Easy fights, though. Lump of coal, that's what we need. Balls of steel. And actually, we do have a charge now. Pretty fly. Telepills. Telepills. Balls of steel. Okay, so we go into boss rush. We grab an item. Anti-grav. I hate it. <laughs> I very much am not pleased with that. However... You know, you, you get what you give, right? Like, we had the chance to uh, look for more items. I chose... In all... I'm a, I tend to be a rational person. What's the difference between two question marks on different sides of the map? We got no idea, but that's... Yet another example of why... Um, it's not always necessary, I, I would suggest, to rush. However, you know what? Anti-grav actually did raise uh, our ability to fire quickly. So, I am for that. We have no mapping, so I would like to uh, change that. But we don't have to do so immediately. I mean, it's like our 18th pretty fly. Not strictly necessary. I, I mean, if you watched or played enough Isaac, you're gonna understand my situation, okay? The fire rate is glorious. There's not... The fire rate is innocent right now. We have so many ways, though, to deal damage up close and personal that it really feels like, why wouldn't we um, take advantage of that? With Holy Mantle and Sack Dagger, and then even if things go terribly wrong, we have a Thame. Even if things go terribly wrong, we have a Balls of Steel pill stored up. And even if things go terribly wrong in that third failsafe situation, we have the Miter, so we wouldn't expect to be low on HP for very long. Um, the most economical and, dare I say, fun way to handle the rest of this run is we got this spinning knife around us that we can only, um, you know, secondarily control. Turn that knife against your foes. And end them. End them. Of course, let's not take stupid damage whenever possible. If we've already lost Holy Mantle, the time is not right. It actually, anti grab is a cool effect, it seems, with, um, with, uh, Euthanasia, where the shots actually get stuck mid air if you're holding the button down when they spawn. It's kind of cool. No deal with the devil. But an orbital, and again, I mean, if you're hating Orbital City here where the grass is green and the girls are pretty, you're really not going to like what happens now. Because it's going to be even better. And, and Curse of the Unknown scares me approximately 0%. Don't really want to... I mean, I actually... Well, now that I think about it, I guess I could play a Demon Judgment because we've got 2 HP, but... Um, I would like to see if we have a Degas Rune first, or anything that can purge our curse. Because I'm fairly convinced that we could cause ourselves some serious problems here. Let's teleport. Oh, dude, that's actually like the ideal teleport, so thank you very much. Get as many shots in there during our period of invincibility as possible easy money to be honest with you i don't really want to fight hush which means that I, I don't really need mom's knife which means i don't really need any of these i mean i guess we could take necronomicon to get closer to bookworm and we could pay two hearts for spectral tears but that seems like a bad idea i've been fighting hush so much recently i'm gonna use my you know paid time off or professional time off. What does PTO stand for? Probably paid time off, right? I don't know. In the corporate world, they love acronyms, man. I only love acroids. Dan. There's probably more. I mean, Jim Belushi and John Belushi are... They're kind of acroids in and of themselves. I don't necessarily like Jim Belushi. I've, I've heard less than flattering anecdotes, but never actually met him in person, it would be a little unfair. I, I, you know, don't necessarily think he's a good or a bad person, because it's very presumptuous to go second hand. Everybody's got a story about somebody being an asshole. 
I mean, he did dent my car once and then drive away. That wasn't Jim Belushi. It might have just been a guy who looks like Jim Belushi. He had an according to, st to Jim sticker on the back of his car. I thought that was a really popular item for a couple of years there, so. And, okay, just to be clear, to pull back the, the thin veil of satire, Jim Belushi did not dent my car. Our 2015 Ford Focus is in pristine condition, except in a parking garage in Seattle, a red car did hit our door handle with its door, and we didn't notice until later, so there's a little, like a very, like a, a couple of micrometers of red paint. And I said, as God is my witness, I will find you. And I am searching to this day. Forensic Da Vinci Code shit. When I find them, what am I going to do? Dude, you don't even want to know. I'm going to roll up to them, and I'm going to say, do you know who I am? And they're going to be like, oh shit. And then I'm going to be like, that's right. I've come here to ask you to please say sorry. Say sorry, please. It's the right thing to do. Say sorry. Let me out. I have made a horrible mistake. Anyway, we're going to win this run and in like extremely quick fashion. This wasn't really intended to be like a speed run or anything like that. But, you know, when you get a Holy Mantle Sack Dagger, really good rate of fire, really good damage... Almost impossible to die, like, find ourselves feeling 10 feet tall and bulletproof, like like Travis Tritt's landmark album. We got a lot of Tritt heads. Is that probably not the name they call themselves, huh? Good album, though, dude. I don't know what was going on with our tears there. What's this? Okay, I'll take anything that gives us a damage upgrade. 0 0.54. Our damage stat itself is low enough that 0 0.54 damage is meaningful. This is a roundabout uh, path here. So much so that I actually think this could be our, uh, our path to the boss fight. Golden teleporter. I don't think you can create an error. Oh, actually, I know you cannot create an error room on this uh, on this floor. So, sadly, golden teleporter would have been awesome earlier. Showing up now, it's just like something that exists. But that's okay. Keep squeezing it back here. Easy money. I am not gonna do the delirium floor. I apologize. I'm just... Without permanent Polaroid invincibility, I'm slightly concerned. This is a very fast run, though, but I think... I think it's foolish. I think we've made, like, the perfect run to beat the chest. And I think we've made an imperfect run to beat Delirium. So I'm gonna close the book on this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you're not bummed out by that decision at the end. But either way, I'll be back with another one or two runs tomorrow. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.